Challenging practice. Question one. A sticker costs fifteen cents. A packet of eight similar stickers costs one dollar. Clement buys thirty-seven stickers. What is the least amount of money that Clement spends on the stickers? So number one, we have to find out the least number of packets that he can buy. So it would be thirty-seven divided by eight. So we will have four packets with a remainder of five. So the amount of money that he has to spend would be four packets and one dollar each, and the remaining five stickers that cost fifteen cents each. So it's four times one dollar plus five times fifteen cents, which will, which will give us four dollars and seventy five cents. Question two. Forty members of a parent's organization were making candies, candles. So one member drops out, and the rest have to make three more. To make up, so each member makes the same number of candles. So how many candles did they make all together? So now that one has dropped out, that means thirty nine remaining par thirty nine remaining parents will have to make three each to make up for the difference. So the difference they have to make up will be one hundred and seventeen. So what it means is that initially, when there were forty members, they were each making one hundred and seventeen each. So forty times one hundred seventeen will give you four thousand six hundred eighty. Question three. So we have here Mr. Thomas. So Mr. Thomas puts up fence from one end to another, equal distance apart. The twenty-seven post. The width of each post is ten centimeters, and the distance between two posts is thirty meters. So we have to be careful here about the units. Over here is centimeters, and over here is meters. So we're going to change. Our thirty meters to centimeters, so three meters would be three hundred centimeters. So thirty meters would be three thousand centimeters. So over here, we are drawing a picture for just one, two, three, four, five, five posts. Just for five posts. So we have one, two, three, four. Five here for five posts, and we're gonna see what happens. So for five posts, we have each is ten centimeters width, and the distance between the posts is three thousand. So the total length of the fence, if we have just five posts, would be five times ten because we have five posts, and the distance between them would be four times three thousand. So right now, using the same analogy. We're gonna do it for twenty-seven posts. So to find the length of twenty-seven posts, you'll be twenty-seven times ten plus twenty-six because it's one less than twenty-seven. Twenty-six times three thousand. Next question four. So Kristen has sixty-four coins in her piggy bank. She has nine dollars twenty-five cents in dimes and quarters. So how many dimes and how many quarters does she have? So over here we are trying to do we are doing try and error. So first, we're gonna start with thirty dimes and thirty-four quarters because they have to make sixty-four. So thirty dimes would make three dollars, and thirty-four quarters would make eight dollars and fifty cents. Together, there will be eleven dollars and fifty cents, which is too much. So we are going to decrease the number of quarters but increase the number of dimes. So we're gonna choose thirty-four and thirty because they make sixty-four. And thirty-four dimes will give you three dollars and forty cents, and thirty quarters is going to give you seven dollars and fifty cents. This will give us ten ninety. So using try and error and guess and check, we're going to move down, and we're going to come up with forty-five dimes, nineteen quarters. That will make sixty-four coins, and forty-five dimes gives four dollars and fifty cents. Nineteen quarters gives four dollars and seventy-five cents. That will give us nine dollars and twenty-five cents. Problem solving. These two questions are slightly more challenging, so let's have a look. So Darcy, Jason, and Maria have two hundred sixty-eight dollars. Jason has twenty dollars more than Darcy, and Maria has twice as much as Jason. So if Darcy has this amount of money, Jason has more and twenty dollars more. So this is twenty dollars more, and Maria has twice as much as Jason. So she has double the distance, double the box. So together they have two hundred sixty-eight dollars. 
So how do we proceed? So first we can have, we can define our one unit. So let's say this is one unit. This is one unit. And this is one unit. And as you can see, Darcy has one unit minus $20. Because one unit will have to be the whole thing here. And Darcy has less than that. She has $20 less than one unit. So the statement that we're going to write is 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 units minus 20 is equals to $268. So 4 units will have to be more. It has to be $268 and $20 more. And this will be 288 So 1 unit would be 288 divided by 4, so you'll be 72. So one unit is 72, so this is 72, this is 72, this is 72, and thus you will have 72 minus 20, which is 52. It's 52. So how much money do Darcy and Jason have together? Darcy has 52, and Jason has 72. So together, they will have 124. So let's look at the next one. The next question over here, question two. So they have the same number of marbles. So let's see, they have the same number of marbles. So it's equally long. So Rachel gives away 10 marbles. She gives away 10 marbles. And Joan gives away 22 marbles. So now Rachel has three times as many marbles as John. So what happens is this. So let's erase all the things here. So what is left is this. So after Rachel gives away $10 and after John gives away $22, what is left is this and what is left is this. And we can see from the picture here that Rachel now has three times as much as John. So Let's look at the difference. So the difference here, this is the difference now. This difference is two units. And this difference is 22 minus 10. So this difference here is 22 minus 10. So this is 12. So one unit is equals to six so this is six this is six and this is six so how much how many marbles did each of them have at first so rachel is going to have six plus six plus six plus ten which is twenty eight and rate and john is going to have 28 as well because they both have the same number of marbles to start with. So the answer is 28. Question 3. Let's look at the problem. So Jerry had 30 pencils and pens. He decided to trade all his pens for pencils. If he traded every pen for two pencils, he would have 48 pencils in all. So how many pens and pencils would he have before the trade? So let's see. He's going to trade pens for pencils. And we know that for every one pen, he's going to trade into two pencils. So we have before and after. So let's assume that he had 15 pens and 15 pencils. So if he has 15 pens, he's going to trade for 30 pencils. So he will have 30 new pencils and he will still hold on to the 15 old ones. So he will have 45 pencils in total. So assume that, assuming that he has now 18 instead of 15, so 18 pens, that will give him 36 pencils. So now he have 36 new pencils and he will still hold on to the 12 old pencils that he used to have. So together he will have 48, which is what we want because now he has 48 pencils in all.